first game, isn't it, really, under the new manager, Crystal Palace, and uh, you can train as much as you like, but Frank De Boer will be interested to see how his players take on his instructions that he's tried to get across over the last uh, few weeks or week or two. Yeah, uh, Jurgen Klopp, very mindful, Alan, of the fact that exactly one month from today, Liverpool will be lining up against Crystal Palace in the mm. Premier League. And yeah, there I may mean, be some cards kept a little closer to the chest than possibly there was in the first game. Yeah, quite possibly. I mean, you'd be surprised if this was the team that uh, turned out in the league, the Liverpool side. Uh, but, of course, fitness makes it a different contest anyway, yes. doesn't it? The lack of fitness uh, at this moment. Crystal Palace back in the red and blue stripes. Regularly changed their kit, but this is uh, a staple design. And, uh, woven into it, the names of the five London boroughs that surround the, uh, the stadium in the south of uh, the capital. Well, let's bring you up to date with the lineups. And Liverpool do start their major summer signing, Mohamed Salah, the forward from Roma, who I think has improved since a short spell with Chelsea. There's more match time for Jordan Henderson after that foot injury, which uh, curtailed his last season, ended it in February. Defender Joe Gomez has also lost a significant amount of time in his fledgling career, and he'll be heartened by further pre-season involvement today. Frank de Boer's first Crystal Palace selection. We think three at the back. No new signings. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is on the bench. But there is that new captain, Jason Punchin. And the chance for Keshi Anderson, who's been on loan at Northampton and Bolton, but not started an official game for Palace as yet. It might be a case of teaching old dogs some new tricks here. But it should be fascinating watching Crystal Palace under de Boer as they vie with Liverpool for a place in this final against Leicester City. We're told now there'll be a bit more of an extended warm-up for both teams. So we've got a five-minute delay to kick off. It's always this way, John, isn't it, this part of the world? You have to improvise a I little with your timings. complicated penalty shootout <laughs> before, so, uh, I think we're all, we're all, you know, a little bit confused with that. I don't think it helped anyone. OK. There we go. We're going to kick off on time now, we're told. Let's hand you back to Alan Smith and Martin Tyler. Frank de Boer and... As a new assistant to the left as we look, Orlando Trustful, and to the right, Trustful in another sense, Sammy Lee, who's seen it all, done it all before, and will certainly be able to maybe dot a few I's and cross mm. a few T's yeah, as far as Premier League football is concerned. Exactly, fantastic link to uh, English football, and nice to see that he uh, has been kept on. It's another chance in English football for Mo Salah who scored his first Liverpool goal pre-season on Friday night. They have played a couple of games. Most of them have played 45 minutes in each of them. So uh, uh, they're maybe a little bit further ahead because this is Palace's first senior uh, match under Frank de Boer. There was an under-23 game that he went to watch at the weekend, but none of these players were involved. Um, but we're looking to see a different philosophy from the, uh, the great Dutch player who's now trying to prove that he is a great Dutch manager in a league alongside his great uh, pal Ronald Koeman, of course, who's doing so well. Exciting times at Everton under Koeman. So Crystal Palace start their new era. Scott down in the middle of the, uh, the back line. Liverpool in the luminous kit, trying to catch the eye in a different sense as well. And, uh, with by far the most support here of all the four teams involved in this Asia Trophy. 
all four from the Premier League. It's the first time in the eight stagings of this competition that that's happened. There's usually been a, a local side. I think by popular demand, we want to see Premier League against Premier League in all four of the games, and their wish has been granted here in Hong Kong. It's always uh, a little bit different as well. For those, those Crystal Palace players playing in front of a new manager, you naturally want to impress, catch his eye. Stake a strong claim for the first day of the season. And when it becomes a back five, Geoffrey Schlupp, once of Leicester, of course, on this side, and Andros Townsend in the right wing back role. Here goes Wilf Zaha, had a wonderful season last time around the Palace. They may not have got too many new faces, but keeping him would be uh, as good as a big fresh signing. Yeah, no, definitely. Townsend finished really strongly last season. Zaha was playing well. They've got some flair players, haven't they, at uh, Selhurst Park? Palace haven't played in the Asia Trophy before. But... Uh, the uh, club historians have dug out a story of just over 20 years ago when, uh, amazingly, towards the end of a Premier League season, they took up an invitation to play a game in Hong Kong. They were well rewarded for it at the time. But they went back into Premier League action, lost f their last four games and got relegated. So, uh, not too many happy memories. Here's Dan and Joel Ward to his right. This Damien is where Delaney to his left is the back three. This is where you'll see them trying to play out from the back and Liverpool not exactly squeezing up in these early moments. You might note a number change for Firmino's uh, allowed Salah to have the 11. But he occupied Firmino, uh, proud to wear Liverpool's number nine. Here he goes. And there's a touch on worthy of Alan Smith number nine. That maybe you'd have found the teammate. <laughs> Ward. There are some scars on the pitch, but I, I have to say, given the difficulties of growing a kind of grass that these players are used to playing on in this part of the world, the uh, authorities have done extremely well. Moreno. He's uh, getting his first action didn't feature in the two games they won 4-0 at nearby Tranmere Rovers and then went to not much further away Wigan Athletic and drew 1-1 on Friday evening Matip Camino chasing You can tell who they've come to see, the uh, Hong Kong supporters, Jurgen Klopp's team. He was talking about Daniel Sturridge, wasn't he, Jurgen Klopp? He hasn't seen him any fitter during his time at Anfield, the manager, so that bodes well. You just hope that Daniel can stay fit. We'll know about his injury record. He's uh, getting the start here. I suppose there would be a time when he would make the team news, really. Mm. He's, I think he's played less than 40% or started less than 40% of the game since he joined Liverpool. I did wonder whether he might move from Liverpool this summer, but uh, you're loath to let somebody of that ability go. Alexander Arnold stealing it from Schlup. In by Lalana. Delaney, Lalana's in quickly again and again. A beautiful control by Joel Matip. No pre season rustiness then. Gomez. Moreno was involved in all 38 Premier League games, at least on the team sheet. He started two and came on in ten. There was a lot of watching Alberto Moreno, a lot of watching for him. Yeah, a lot of talk of him leaving the club this summer. A lot of talk of a new left back coming in. Gomez, of course, played at left back, didn't he, before his uh, his injury? So mm. whether he'll be a candidate, but he's been out a long, long time. Ben Woodburn has stepped up, scored in the League Cup quarter final, no less, last season. Salah with a drag back. 
tucked in by Firmino to the universal delight in the Hong Kong Stadium. Henderson, Sturridge. sure what Frank De Boer's philosophy is when his team is under siege. <laughs> it's very difficult for every manager there, but he's quite clear. He's, a, he's got that Dutch confidence that so many of their great footballers produce when they move into management. He's standing there squarely, hands on hips, watching every kick. You can see the Lallana just got away from Dan for a moment. And they're pressing high, Liverpool here. Schlup. Beautifully done. He'd be hoping his Leicester mates were staying to watch that. He's talking to them in the team hotel. And here's Townsend. First real thrust from Palace. I don't think Crystal Palace under Frank de Boer are going to get the ball forward quickly, as quickly maybe that Sam Allardyce did. And... For Christian Benteke, you wonder whether that might be a problem. I think one of Benteke's most uh, forceful games came against Arsenal, didn't it, when they played long to him and they were getting the likes of Townsend feeding off, getting the knockdowns. It was too much to handle. Well, Daniel Sturridge, not in the wars for long. Scott Dan, who's from Liverpool, and there was a Liverpool season ticket holder, away from days like this, a Liverpool fan still. Stop him scoring against them in this run that Palace have had of three consecutive wins at Anfield. Um, but I think Liverpool would want me to point out that uh, they've won their last three visits to Palace at Selhurst Park, one of them in an FA Cup tie. Townsend, I wonder what he will make of the defensive responsibilities he's been given, but he's. Uh, a new manager, you just want to be in the team, don't you? And yeah, quite. Maybe he's just having a, a look at him, te yeah. testing him, asking yeah. a question. Can you uh, adapt, show your football intelligence to do a, a different role? Yes, we shouldn't get too carried away. In, in terms of first-team football, he's been a manager for eight minutes. Here's uh, Alexander-Arnold. Uh, gone out for a goal kick. Yeah, he's another who's showing great signs of promise through the Liverpool Academy. Jurgen Klopp pointing out, Alan, that um, although he hasn't signed too many players, he, he sees a range for improvement in the youngsters that have, have been playing from time to time. And this is certainly one... Um, those who watch Liverpool every week think he could be the best youngster mm, of the lot. Yeah, I think he's got an old head on young shoulders. Um, a real talent. Not... Uh, scared one bit about pulling up in the first team shirt that's it with the header Townsend Ward stepping in here's uh, Keshi Anderson it's an interesting experience for him so he did uh, well on loan in the lower divisions and obviously trained well you get a chance here straight away Delaney. On by Schlup. Zaha. Left Gomez on the ground and then Alana as well. And Zaha has got Palace a free kick. Schlup will take it. Delaney making his way forward. Delaney will be 36 tomorrow. Still going to show a new manager. Plenty of life in him. Almost fell the way of Zaha. And it's Sturridge who had to act as the disciplined defender. getting the opportunity you mentioned it earlier and Sam Allardyce standing down and for the moment at least retiring from management 
a reminder of the stresses of the profession these days. And there are plenty of rewards. Lavojevic. Townsend. Very can sparkle as uh, the attacking side of the wing backs roll. Liverpool looking to play on the break. And Ward would uh, certainly get booked in an official game for a challenge like that to interrupt the attack. Going to be spared that here. Crowd wanting a book in here. Gomez. Now Matip. Lallana's made a run. Henderson uh, spotted the space that was left that was filled by Alexander-Arnold. Woodburn. Alexander Arnold. Uh, it was heading towards the corner from Sturridge, but deflected, fortunately for Palace, wide of the other post. Yes, yeah, Scott Dan got the vital block on this. Twice now, Alexander Arnold's found space down this right hand side. And using it really well. That's where you want Daniel Sturridge. Such a fine finisher. Short corner's very much on. To uh, Woodburn, who started well. That's his career as well as this evening. Already in the full Wales squad, and he was born in England. He actually grew up, <laughs> if I can use that term, about a 17 year old, through the, uh, the school where ranks as a central striker. And he's been played wide in the senior team, and now he's getting a deeper role to suggest that. It's not just about goals this game, but he's got a football brain. Townsend. In towards the former Liverpool man, Benteke. Zaha. Still Zaha. Corner for Palace, and although they're not seeing so much of the ball, they have got their weapons. Yeah, he's a bundle of tricks, and Alexander-Arnold. Actually did well to keep his eye on the ball rather than looking at Zahar's feet. Gets an early touch there and stays to the tax, even though he slips at one point, the defender. Short corner. Punching. Zaha. Anderson. Oh. Oh, and wide. While that was all going on, um, Jeffrey Schlupp was called over by Frank de Burt for the first of one suggests would be many messages of the evening. Confidence counts for anything. They'll finish in the top six. <laughs> the manager has uh, been brought up in the game in a way that he believes he can pass on. Trace it all back to Johan Cruyff, really. Contributed so much as a player and as a coach. Here's uh, Benteke, Alexander-Arnold not dealing with it. Salah passed the veteran Delaney and he delivered the cross. Well, there were two arriving, the two you would expect, Sturridge and uh, Firmino. Rapid from Liverpool. Yeah, first chance really for Salah to show us his wares here. Delaney did not fancy that one at all, tried to take his man out unsuccessfully. Salah with the corner, oh, and, uh, Wayne Hennessy might have just got a little bit of a touch. Yes, he did, because uh, it's a Liverpool throw. Sometimes that can be enough. It doesn't always look tidy. It diverts it away from those who are plotting the original trajectory. Lalana.
Henderson, Sturridge. It's a brilliant back heel. But, uh, wonderful goal that would have been. As uh, Adam Lallana read the flick. He's great at arriving on the scene, timing his run perfectly, Lallana. And Henderson's got this kind of passing range in his arm. Right? He's coming on the ball a little too quickly and early on in pre-season. A little rustiness maybe from Lallana. Jürgen Klopp was saying about Sir Jordan Henderson yesterday that really it was a message of don't expect too much. He's had the 2.45 minutes, he's getting some of his fitness back, but the suggestion was that his A-game was still a little bit away, but that was an A-game pass to Sturridge, that's for sure. Here's uh, Townsend. We understand the wish to get it to Zaha at uh, every uh, opportunity. Finished the season losing only one of their last 12. Only their second top four finish in the last eight seasons. Liverpool, Brendan Rodgers managed the last one. And then they went out of the Champions League at the group stage. They'll be wanting to do much, much better with their wonderful European traditions, Liverpool. That kind of success that made them has made them such a club that's universally admired. Stop giving chase is, as they say, quick, but not that quick. He's not one for platitudes. He said the second half against uh, Wigan, I think it was the second half, was boring. <laughs> and uh, that's why he's, I'm sure, an interviewer's dream. Flag was up for offside. Certainly he's not boring. No. Always worth watching. Alexander Arnold. Uh, the brightness about uh, we've not quite had 20 minutes yet possibilities at both ends Liverpool we feel doing their absolute utmost to entertain the supporters who in with them at least metaphorically and sometimes lit quite literally since they touched down they've done some traveling they went to Australia at the end of last season is all part and parcel of the commercial side of the modern game and they're spreading the gospel as well punch and caught in possession as Palace do try to play short maybe unusually for them that's what Frank de Boer wants and I'm sure he'll get them doing it better I think that's going to be a problem for them this season it's those defenders probably aren't the ones you choose to be uh, playing those little short passes getting the ball off the keeper Especially against a team like Liverpool. They love to hunt it down high up the pitch. Well, it is a home game for Liverpool, really, isn't it? In everything but the geographical sense. Matip. Salah. Lalana. Salah kept running. you might expect with Jurgen Klopp in charge Liverpool are off to Germany after this they hurt to Berlin and there's a, another tournament against the Bayern Munich for sure and they start against Watford and then they play Crystal Palace <laughs> You mentioned uh, Benteke and whether he's a De Boer kind of player, Alan. He has said, I do see him as absolutely essential to my plans. Mm. We've got a player like Benteke, one of the best headers of the ball around. You've got to give him service, haven't you? And uh, he likes the ball early, certainly likes it out from out wide. 
They've got the players to do that in Sahar and Townsend, but uh, he might have to be patient up there for the ball to come his way. Lovely ball uh, on a slightly scarred surface by Moreno into the feet of Sturridge. Gomez. Alana supporting Alexander Arnold. Another Liverpool corner. Yeah, Liverpool doing most of the pressing, the attacking, as you'd expect. With the players they've got out there. De Boer leaving two up. And expecting his uh, defenders to defend the corner. Palace not pushing out very far. Henderson again with the range in that right foot. Salah. Well, they need to stop him shooting with his left. That's what he's all about. Well, you look at his goal ratio for Roman, it's outstanding. Get him on that left foot and a bit like Arjen Robin. So often he'll find the back of the net. There's a bit of confidence for you. And you can't see him struggling this time in England, the way that he did at Chelsea. He's a more rounded player, more experienced, more mature, you'd think. Well, they brought him in and Dominic Solanke, of course, from Chelsea, who let his contract run out. Solanke, the top scorer in the recent World Under-20 tournament, not far away from here in South Korea, and England won it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to be fascinating to see how these Chelsea boys, because you've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek, haven't you, on the bench for Palace, whether they can forge a career at the top. So much money invested in the Chelsea academy. They get the best kids more often than not. Can they take that extra step into the big the time? Youth Cup four years in a row, European youth trophies as well. Tammy Abraham gone out on loan to Swansea, played in the under-21s. Lewis Baker, what's going to happen with him? chalaba has been sold. And uh, Frank de Boer, I think, realised that it was clever. Loftus-Cheek, I mentioned the five boroughs that are woven into this new design shirt. One of them's Lewisham, and that's where Loftus-Cheek comes from. So it's, uh, it's almost a move closer to home. <laughs> Marriage made in heaven, but good opportunity for him to uh, play a bit more regularly than he would have at uh, Chelsea. He speaks a brand of English with gesture. That, uh... I'm sure it's very charismatic. Frank de Boer has his own points to make. It's a lot for those Palace players to take on under this new manager because uh, the contrast in styles is, is quite stark, isn't it? Of course, the other local lad in the team is Jason Punchin, who was a Crystal Palace, a, a schoolboy, well, a, a toddler almost, seven or eight years old. Never got to play at any higher level, really, and found his way through many another club, a strange route to back where he started. Very proud to be made captain by a man as eminent as Frank de Boer. Frank breaks is over. Headed by Matip. Salah. Zaha. And now Schlup. That sort of ball that uh, goalkeepers detest. But Minule is, I think, leading the three-way battle for the goalkeeper slot in the Premier League. Did well, Alan. Yeah. 
Quite an awkward one, bouncing in front of him like that. Could have wriggled away with Benteke trying to embarrass his old teammate, but uh, there's uh, Loris Karius, of course, and Danny Ward, who's back from Huddersfield, where he helped them into the Premier League. Here's Zaha. That's terrific play. Anderson, Townsend. Back for Anderson, who's got a chance here. And Mignolet called upon again. Well, it's a lovely pick out from Townsend, that one. When they have got the ball in these areas, Palace, they've looked dangerous. A little reverse pass. Closes down the angle quickly. Mignolet on Anderson. Liverpool had problems defending set pieces in the Premier League last season. And Benteke about and Scott Dan. They might have problems in this match this evening. Jurgen Klopp said yesterday ten, we could have been ten goals better off. We, we gave away ten goals, if not direct from corners, from from second balls from them. Got to improve in that respect. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone on for too long, hasn't it, at Liverpool? Gets in your mind, becomes a bit of a psychological hurdle. Townsend. Pressed by Moreno, fouled by the Spaniard. Quick free kick. Keshi Anderson rather running into trouble this time. Lalana. He's brilliant at rolling uh, opponents. Well, he might have been a bit fortunate to get the decision then. He lost the ball. Here's Salah. He's one on one with Delaney. And then look to tee up Sturridge. Punch and got back. Mm. Began with a lovely weighted ball by Ben Woodburn. This into Salah's path. And you thought for all the world like he was going to pick out. Stowage then, and Salah again. Firmino. They've had a couple of weeks of working on the system, Alan. I watched them train yesterday, and they they played like this. And uh, you're never quite sure whether that was going to be the the starting lineup, but it's turned out to be that way. What a painful one, that. They're not quite the same when Lalana doesn't play. No. Just a, a month towards the end of the season. Obviously, the same applies to Coutinho. He's on the bench here tonight. No, he's be become so central to Liverpool's uh, attacking play. Sturridge caught in possession, and Zaha comes out on top. It's a big night, you feel, for Daniel Sturridge, this, because... Coutinho, Salah, Firmino, and Mane when he's fit. I think they might all be ahead of Daniel Sturridge. Down goes Benteke. And certainly a free kick in a, a decent position centrally. Benteke is uh, not averse to taking them himself. Uh, there's are plenty of other candidates. Yeah, certainly within shooting distance, this one. Gomez getting sucked in. Milivojevic is uh, very good from this kind of range. And Punchin as well. A little discussion. Well, uh, Bobby Madley gets the spray out. Yeah, 
You might just hear a pin drop if Crystal Palace take the lead in these circumstances. And Levojevic sets it too high and can't get it down. He's disappointed with his effort. It's a good way off. On that kind of situation, Johan Kabay is out here, but not fit enough to be named uh, on the team sheet tonight. Palace's uh, first game is uh, providing the first opposition in the Premier League for Huddersfield Town. Chased that ball from Alexander Arnold, and he certainly chased it with Gusto Fitzala. Did well at Basel and had a loan spell with Fiorentina. It was uh, quite a surprise that he just fell short at Chelsea. Alone in that respect, when you think of the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and Lukaku, <laughs> Henderson testing the touch of Lalana in by Alexander Arnold. Might have got to Firmino, but uh, Salah wasn't to know that. Mm. Shot getting caught in possession. I think rather feeling he could have been helped by his teammates then. Matip, Henderson. Only Benteke out of the defensive alignment for Frank de Boer's Palace at the moment. He might try and get involved here. Alexander, Ar Alexander Arnold. Now Benteke. Punching himself out of trouble there and here goes Zaha in a race with Gomez he did well Gomez it was an awkward one for him because uh, he lost sight of the ball at one stage as he's chasing back Henderson Alana getting it wide Alberto Moreno. Henderson, in goes Firmino. Out comes Hennessy. And, uh, took the right option. It's a decent clearing punch. And, uh, not the first ball from Jordan Henderson no, of that calibre we've seen. Found his range, hasn't he? He must have heard the manager's press conference. He wasn't actually at it, I think, as the uh, captain he might have been, but it was uh, Simon Mignolet describing the goalkeeping scene at Anfield. Firmino, looking at the ball, might have thought just a little nick and it's a goal. Yeah. Yeah, not an easy ball to, to execute that. The weight was spot on. Anderson again. And again. Picked off by Ward, but well, that is a situation where I have to work out what to, to try and find Benteke, who's still half defending. It's just giving possession. It is a little bit of an attack against defence at the moment. It won't do Palace any harm. Maybe not even tonight, but certainly not in the longer run. And that's uh, Dan tight on Salah, and it's a goal kick. Yeah, it just gives them a chance, doesn't it, to uh, fall into that defensive shape to try and uh, frustrate his team. So back to Berg, the goalkeeping coach, just behind uh, Jurgen Klopp then. Quite a feat for Palace to stay in the Premier League, isn't it, for a fifth consecutive season? The difficulties, change of 
managers on a regular basis. The next uh, Palace manager has been on the losing end of the first game here, Tony Pulis. Yeah, they need some stability. And you think with the players they've got, they should be aiming higher than simply surviving. But it looked a close run thing. It was a close run thing uh, towards the end of last season. Alexander Arnold. Had that excellent win, didn't they, against Arsenal on a Monday night in, in April? It restored some belief. Arsenal got a lot of criticism for their defeat, and Palace didn't probably get the credit that they deserved for their victory. There was a purple patch there, they'd beaten Chelsea and Liverpool. Sturridge. The ball into him was uh, astute again, and it came from the teenager Ben Woodburn. Mm. He can pass the ball, Woodburn. He gets the ball in the box, though, into his feet, Sturridge. He's such a threat. Moves the ball and bang, let's go. Gomez. And the bite out it for Alexander Arnold. Matip. out by Ward <laughs> the substitutions of which 10 are allowed per side but can only come in the very most bunches of four oh Hennessy it wasn't so good as the earlier work and uh, Henderson knew the goalkeeper was struggling to get back and tried his luck but missed kick that time Here comes Townsend. He's got uh, Anderson with him. And Benteke hoping for a cross to use that dangerous head of his, but comes back to Livojevic. Now Punchin. Schlup. Andros Townsend's played in this tournament before with uh, Spurs and scored in it in this very ground. Milivojevic for the back three, Alan, it's uh, quite intriguing whether they played that much. Frank de Boer will demand a back three, and these are the, the first three off the rank, so to speak. Yeah. There's a talk of a, a central defender from Ajax, those who played in the Europa League final against Manchester United. Yeah, I'm sure he's got his targets. Punching the target there is Zaha's run. Oh, and uh, well, he has been penalised in the past for going down a little bit easily. He certainly didn't look to do it then when he might have done. Yeah, in the penalty area. Yeah, it looked like Gomez had got himself into a bit of a tangle. Started outside the area, but. Was that fall across him, mm. whether that was deliberate or not? Messi, and you sometimes get away with that. He got away with it then. Palace corner. Oh, Penteke. So close. Getting in touch. And uh, Jurgen Klopp's annoyed with Alexander Arnold for hacking it straight back to Palace. And they could have played out. Yeah, well, Simon Mignolet came and failed to get a clean connection on it. That's been a criticism of him. He did the job, really. One of those a bit like Hennessy, when a touch mm. can be just enough. But it doesn't look so good. It takes the word authority out of your mouth. <laughs> Here's Schlupp. It's been a, a half that's uh, flown by because there's plenty of verve and vim and vigour from... Uh, Liverpool in this uh, bright orange strip. But a thoughtful approach from Palace. He'll be suited to it, Luka Milivojevic. Uh, 
and Teke out to prove that he would be suited to it. But Salah and Dan blocks off. We in danger of being a red card in the, in the heat of real battle. Yeah, it's a bit high, wasn't it? First Delaney got done by Salah. Now his central defensive partner. He doesn't hesitate to go right at his man, Salah, does he? So it's just yellow. And it was Benteke who was working hard for the cause, who actually lost the ball on that turnover. And perfectly for Salah and uh, imperfectly for Dan, who was trying to deal with it. So it's a free kick to Liverpool, entrusted to Henderson. Woodburn. It's a Sturridge. And that means danger. Hennessy was able to uh, see it in time and diverted away. Yeah, it could have been a tap in for Salah if he'd have just taken a chance there. Good work by Firmino to keep it, but then uh, good work. It's rather wasted. I haven't quite given them the goal that the crowd are paying for here, but no. Sturridge did his best. Yeah. And he doesn't seem to need to be fully fit, Daniel Sturridge, to produce some of his best work in these areas. Caught it nicely with his uh, so-called weaker foot here. Zaha. Salah. Because it's very important, that's what we're playing for. Well, United's tour of the US has seen Romelu Lukaku get his first goal for the club. He and Victor Lindelof are their only signing so far this summer. So how are those two new faces fitting in? I'm very happy that they, they have joined Manchester. They are very good football players, and it's not just like that they that they are here. It means that uh, they are strong enough to. Sturridge, important touch. Sturridge won this trophy actually with Chelsea six years ago now. Some final thoughts on the first half, Alan. Well, we've seen some flashes, haven't we, from, from Liverpool, some of their key players. The likes of Lallana, and I don't think Mohamed Salah would be too disappointed with what he's done so far. The Palace, they've, they've fallen into this kind of shape and tried to make use of the counter-attacks. I mean, they have looked uh, sporadically dangerous. Lalana. And the ball in the end veers wide. It looked as though there might have been a deflection, but no corner's been given. Yeah, I thought there was. No, oh, there was a deflection. Yeah, Sturridge's arm. To the one added minute before half time, and, and Salah just beaten to it by Hennessy. Almost been a, a bit of a nagging situation. The questions that Jurgen Klopp's been getting asked about. We haven't got many new players. Hang on a minute, he might be saying now, have a look at the one that I have got. Yeah. Well, the one big money signing we wait to see what uh, Solanke will cost that tribunal I don't yeah. think they've agreed it yet nobody talks about 
you know, keeping players, Phil Coutinho. I'm sure there are a few phone calls mm. concerning him in the summer. Oh, that was uh, not going to count because they uh, must have gone for a free kick to Liverpool. Anderson uh, tested Mignolet earlier. It wasn't allowed to do so this time. And here we are at half-time. So, Mo Salah in his second appearance in Liverpool's colours. His first out here, of course, in the Far East. Has definitely caught the eye with energy and quality. And you could say the same about Crystal Palace's Wilfried Zaha. It's been uh, 45 minutes of seeing how Frank de Boer wants his team to play. And 45 minutes of Liverpool striving for a goal. But they haven't got one yet. It's nil-nil at half-time.